We lived in a single room with my mother and three siblings. There were several occasions where my mother delayed to come back, so she had to commute to work, and it was because it had rained heavily, and therefore the roads were impassable, which meant that the transport fare rose, and therefore it became not affordable. Now, when you think about their increasing heat, increasing floods, increasing cyclones, all related to climate change, further complicates life for the urban poor, especially in the African setting where we are highly dependent on land, on nature for survival. What if the urban poor were given adequate attention, where even when there is an extreme weather event, they can still be able to earn a living, and therefore, their life is not significantly disturbed. In many parts of Africa, heat is not regarded as one of the risks that the city should be concerned about. If someone is suffering from heart diseases, those ones who have respiratory infections, it exacerbates those. And then when you think about outdoor workers, usually, poor people, the women, and unfortunately also children, when there is too much heat, that means that reduced hours of work and therefore reduced pay or no pay, which further complicates their life. So we came up with the heat wave guide for cities. We knew that if we work on it just internally, it will not have a greater impact. So we decided to recruit cities, including city officials, but also including universities and NGOs. When it was launched, it gained a lot of traction. Even for the city like Kampala, they were able to contribute and in the due process, they learned about the impacts. And they are working a lot on greening Kampala. The world is urbanizing, we can't reverse that we need to make sure that the urbanization that is happening is inclusive and very considerate of those who are less privileged. It's my memories of living in the slums that continuously pull me back to think about the urban people. I do not want another person to experience that. <laughs>